Hello everybody, this is Raphael Logan Idol once again. And today I'll be showing you my custom symbiote from this game, Spider-Man Web of Shadows. I know he didn't have eyes or tongue, but I I said, hey, what the hell, I don't really care. I'm not going to waste my time ripping that out, the painting over the eyes. Plus he looks better like this. Don't we all agree? Okay, so what I practically used is um, I made the 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 bait. The entire figure is from the Venom that came with the Scorpion thing. As you can see, there's the peg hole for the Scorpion tail. So this is Max Gargan Venom, but repainted with red and black. Even though that this figure is already black, I had to color black, um, well, I don't know, some mistakes I made, or I had to color black the spider sign. So, other details from the game, um, he has no spider sign because he's not Venom. He's just a normal symbiote. And he has... I just put, like, the red around him just because it looked cool. He had a bit black. He just had a little red, but red, the entire red face looks even better. And he had this red thing down on his back. So I colored that. Or painted that. He has red hands. I don't... Remember if he has this, but I put that in anyway because it looks nice. If you look over here, you can see, still see some of the white, but I didn't really want to reach down there with a, with a, like one of those um, things that I used to paint. It's not like a paintbrush. Well, anyway, I have another version of this, which I will be bringing in. Oh, he <laughs> fell. It does smell horrible. And the paints you can get at Hobbies and Toys. Any local Hobbies and Toys. You can find the paints. Now this guy, I just painted him practically the same. But except completely red. And instead of like a black mark on his back, I put like a brownish mark. And of course I had to put black paint on his hands because on this Venom action figure he had um, that white square over there. So you can take a look at them. Yeah, I had two of them. One is my brother's and one is mine. I think the one that has a red body is my one. Well, the red with the red body took longer. I'll show you his back. Oh. See, it's sort of darkish. But this is not a video on him. I'll just use my one that I think is better. I like, I, if you agree with me, tell me in the comments. I like this guy better. Since I didn't do a review on the Max Gargan Venom. Here you go. He has a ball jointed arm, but my brother's has been in a. I'll just use this one because this is my one and it has better articulation. But since it has paint, not that easy to move. But you know, ball jointed shoulders, uh, ball jointed head, non flexible tongue. We'll just go back. A single bend in the elbow and a ball, practically a ball jointed hand, a, a ball joint diaphragm, a swivel waist, ball jointed uh, thigh, single bend in the knee, up, down, and up, no pivot. Oh well, yeah, that's the articulation. 
both of them. So yeah, this is my custom made Venom. I mean, symbiote from Spider-Man, Web of Shadows. It's a game. Really highly recommend the game. I'm practically the first person ever to make a Spider-Man Web of Shadows um, symbiote like this guy and show him on YouTube. I mean, if you just search for it on... Um, on Google Images, eventually you'll find one, but that one's like more detailish because like it has no eyes, there's no peg hole. Well, you know, this is my first time, and I didn't want to do a lot of. I now don't know how to mold plastic, nor do I know where to get that kind of material. See, so, yeah, that's my review on the Spider-Man Web of Shadows symbiote. Red and black symbiotes. Well, this is Rafael Ganado, and see you guys later.